This is cycle carting, a culture all its own, born from building these from the ground up and then hopping in the driver's seat. Andrew Rowdney has been doing this for about 10 years. A cycle cart is kind of something between a uh, soapbox racer and a go-kart. And usually uh, they're made to look like a pre-war, pre-World War II race car. This is the Vulture. It's called the Vulture because it is made of garbage, <laughs> scrap. We found a ladder and that's what the frame rails are made of. It's so much different from go-karting or any other motorsport because the car just feels bigger and faster and a lot better around turns and you love it so much more because you built it. Everybody has their vintage race cars, but I had to be different as all my buddies would know. It's a 1927 Model T Ford pickup. David uh, built both of these cars and uh, invited us to drive them. I chose uh, Riley, which was um, a, a successful race car at the time. This one here is based on, the uh, geometry of it is based on a Morgan three-wheeler. When, when you're doing it on a really tight circuit like this and low to the ground, it really feels like a lot of fun. So let's have some fun. It's my turn behind the wheel. Here we go. <laughs> These are outfitted with 200cc engines, usually hitting around 50 kilometers per hour and 65 to 70, even 80k on the upper end. I don't think I quite hit top speed, but I'm glad that I got the Vulture back in one piece. First place, I think! Okay, I might need a little more practice for that, but Richard Poxton here is no stranger to the racetrack. He raced Formula Fords in the UK, in the Honda series in Canada, and in the vintage class at Mossport. Do you use some of the same skills out there on the cycle car track? I tried to previously this morning and I almost tipped this thing over. But he will have another chance. On June 8th, this crew will be putting their skills and their carts to the test during the fourth annual Cycle Cart Grand Prix to be held here at Elmhurst Resort in Keene. 17 racers in all, some even rolling in from the US. Until then, these guys say they'll be putting the finishing touches on their carts. Some maybe more than others. Any of my friends watching this, and I know a bunch of them are, what can I say? We don't need that piece. I don't think it's important. What is important, Ravney says, is the experience. I like it uh, more almost for the community than just for the car itself. It's uh, a little more whimsical and a little, a little bit more silly, which is something I really like about it. That was awesome! Kaylee Bedore, Global News, Keen.